The next page is the output configuration. Here you'll see the discrete outputs and analog outputs. The top two outputs are dedicated discrete outputs for alarm and shutdown indication. These act like relays. This drop-down menu can be used to configure the action the relay takes when energized. Here you can see that I have the alarm results in relay open and that the alarm relay is energized. Therefore, this relay would be open. And you can see here that the shutdown is in the same way. And that is because we have an active shutdown and alarm. The next two are configurable discrete outputs. These can be configured in the same way that when energized, the relay will either be open or closed. This light will tell you when the, when the configurable relay is energized. You can also set the mode of the relay to either be, again, an alarm or shutdown. You can configure it to be an alarm and shutdown indication. You can also configure it to indicate in the rare instance that the Veristroke driver module has an internal fault. And you can also configure it to be a cylinder position indication. In many instances, customers will install external limit switches on their actuator to let the control know when the Veristroke or when it's when your current actuator is at the high or low position. This allows you to do that all within the Veristroke. This will set when the relay will energize. And in this case, it would be when the when the actuator goes below one percent. And then this is the position at which the relay will de-energize as the actuator comes back through that position, in essence giving the switch some hysteresis. The same thing can be done for discrete output 2. In many instances this will be cylinder position high indication, which mimics the function of configurable 1, but on the, the high end of the stroke. Down here we can configure the analog output. This drop-down allows you to select the function of the analog output. In this case, we have two options. We can either echo the input demand. This can be useful during setup or commissioning of the actuator. The next one is the analog position or actual position of the unit. This will tell the control or wherever you have this wired to the position of the actuator based on the scaling you have input over here. This is saying that the analog output will now output 4 milliamps when the actuator position is at 0 and 20 milliamps when the actuator position is at 100.